Hey guys, what is up? Today I'll show you how to fill in a hollow font in InDesign. Um, it's something I was trying to do yesterday and I finally figured it out, so I thought I'd show you guys. All right, let's do it. Is you come into InDesign, open it up, and then do a text box. So I'm gonna put a text box here and I'm just gonna type in elephant just to test it out. Double click it, come down here and choose your font that's hollow. So Des Demona, hit enter. And then I'm just going to make the font bigger just so you guys can see. So I'll make it um, 72. So then click off of it, and then I'll just zoom in for you guys. So then you highlight the font, and then you go to Type, and you go to Create Outlines. So that create, creates an outline um, of the font. And then you go to Object, and you go to Path, and then you go to Release Compound Path. So then it turns it black, and you can see they have all the little um, dots here so you can you know, like take those out or move them around or do whatever you want with them, just edit them. So then I'm gonna click off again and I'm gonna click on, so you can see how elephant is like all outlined. You can see it, but if I hit on A, then it's black on the inside, which it shouldn't be. So the, my little workaround for this is you hit the A, just highlight it, and then just make sure nothing else is highlighted. So you only wanna see this highlighted, hit that, and then hit, come up to the color panel and just do paper. And then if you zoom back out, click off of it, zoom back out, you will see that it worked. And then, yeah, so that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And yeah, so that's how you fill a hollow um, font in InDesign. Perfect, thank you. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button and then that will tell me to make more videos like that. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.